You know, I still want to play video games with my friends and stuff like that. It's fun to just be a normal teenager sometimes as well and, you know, forget that, you know, I'm running one of the biggest websites in the world. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Say hello to Bloomberg. Hello, Bray Bloomberg. To the day of Minecraft. <laughs> My name is Avi Schiffman and I'm 17 years old and I built one of the largest coronavirus tracking websites in the world. I just wanted to make an easy way to find the numbers and how many people were infected with the coronavirus and I noticed it was just really hard. I mean you had to go to Chinese government websites to get the most up-to-date information but you know it was all in Chinese and so I thought I could just extract the numbers and add it to a much larger data set and I do that for basically every single country. So I wanted people to be able to get the information just at a glance, you see the total confirmed, you know the total deceased, it's just all right in front of you. The traffic has just basically exploded. In total I have about 350 million visitors and every single day it's about 30 million now. I think when it really blew up, I just skipped like a week of school and then it got closed like on the last day anyways. I mean, I'm pretty much a terrible student. Maybe don't tell my parents that. <laughs> like an art project that your kid shows you, most of the time I go, oh yeah, that's nice. But when he came down and showed me that he had created a website that was accumulating facts and numbers in regards to the coronavirus, it was really obvious this was gonna affect pretty much every human being on the planet. And so I was really taken aback. As a physician, you know, patients initially, this was a far away problem. And so I would bring Avi's website to light and say, look at these numbers, look at how quickly this is gaining territory. Uh, and it would help my, my patients understand the importance of, of what we're, we're dealing with and what we're gonna face. I remember very clearly a moment where he said to me, I got emails asking me to put ads on my website. In fact, one of them is offering me $8 million. And then he said, but I turned them down. I think it's a lot easier for me to turn down things like that just because um, I don't care that much about making so much money. You know, I feel like as an adult, you know, oh yeah, I'll just retire now, but you know, I don't want to retire at 17. I mean, half the stuff I did on this website, I didn't even know before I started. But I think one of the big things about my website is that, not that it's very hard to program, but that, you know, I took the initiative to make this, you know, when nobody was talking about this. I hope that what I created, you know, inspires a lot of young people to find ways they can help. I mean, this is a global pandemic that affects everybody, you know, find out what they're good at and, you know, put their skills to use in something like this.